hi everyone i'd like to welcome you guys to today's video um today promises to be amazing as you can see um we have um this cute little guy right here so we're going to be retouching um uh, you know doing some skin work and all of that and as you can see um we have this image in capture one i did some little bit of um, raw processing in capture one so we're going to take it over to photoshop to edit all right to do that i'm going to go over to image and then edit with um photoshop 2022 so um i have my file format and i'm tiff option uncompressed and all of that so i'm going to click on edit variant and it's going to open right up in photoshop so we're going to wait for it to to happen so i, I took this image um some weeks back and um you know editing babies can be quite um tricky so um, we're going to see how we can um do that um in photoshop using um frequency separation all right, so let's wait for it to load and then um, we're good to go. All right, so we have it um, open up in um, in Photoshop right now. So um, let me zoom in so you can see the face. Yeah. All right, so we have some, um, should I say, not really blemishes like that. But this is a baby. Um, so you have to understand that. Um, Retouching babies is quite different from retouching adults. So even though we have some uh, blemishes right here, which we're going to take care of. So um, the first thing first, we're going to duplicate um, the background layer. We're going to duplicate it. So I'm going to drag to a new layer. Yeah, and then we have uh, a new layer. So I'm, I'm going to zoom in. All right. I'm going to zoom in and then um, I'm going to take out some of these blemishes right here. So to do that, I'm going to use my um, patch tool. Yeah, either use your um, Ctrl J, sorry, J to uh, your shortcut and all of that. So I'm going to circle the part that I want to remove and then um, drag it over. So as you can see, it's quite um, easy to do. <laughs> there really not much, so um, we don't have anything to worry about. So um, once you get um, these blemishes off, you're good to go. All right. So um, let's take our time to clear out the blemish blemishes. Okay. So I I think this is fine. You don't have to take it all out. So we have this cute little boy right here. So we're going to, um, you know, go ahead with our frequency separation process. Now, if you have an action for this, like I do, I have series of actions here. You can use it and, you know, um, you know, it makes your job way faster. But um, if you don't have one, I'm going to show you how to create your frequency separation. Uh, uh, not action this this time, just to, you know, create your frequency separation. So. I'm going to duplicate this layer, this background copy. I'm going to press Ctrl J or Command J on the on the Mac. So Ctrl J and we have duplicated. So I'm going to double click on the layer to um, rename it. I'm going to rename this um, color. All right. So I'm going to rename the um, layer on top. I'm going to name it um, texture. All right, so what I'm going to do with the color um, layer, I'm going to go to filter, I'm going to go to noise, and then I'm going to go to median. All right, um, you can use a um, Gaussian blur, it's fine, but I think I prefer median, I prefer the outcome of median, then, but I'm going to use a, um, a radius of four, not too much, just four is fine. All right, I'm going to click on um, OK. Alright, so I'm going to go to my texture layer, I'm going to go to image, apply image, uh, so I'm going to select the color layer, that's the layer I'm referencing, and then I'm going to change the blending, the blend mode to, um, from, I'm going to change it to subtract, then I have my scale set to 2, and my offset to 1 to 8, my opacity is 100%, so I'm going to click on OK. So I'm going to come right down to um, the blending mode. Again, I'm going to change it to linear light. All right. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to duplicate this um, color layer, Ctrl J, and then I'm going to power clip it. All right. 
I'm going to create a clipping mark. So one of the ways to do it is by holding your Alt key, then you can see the uh, cursor has changed right there to an arrow down. So when you click on it, it has power clipped. But if you don't want to do it that way, you can, um, you know, go back Ctrl Z and then right click, and then you can see um, create clipping marks right here. Still the same thing, right? So I'm going to do the same for the texture layer. And then I'm going to press Ctrl J. Now hold my Alt key and then click. All right. But in the case of texture layer, you can see that the face is a bit um, sharpened. All right. We don't want that. So we're going to take it back to the normal. All right. There you go. You have the um, original look of the face. Now, the reason why we're doing this is so we can have um, a backup, right? So we are not going to edit on this layer. We are going to work on this layer. So um, to prevent any, um, you know, to prevent uh, us from editing, we're going to lock the layer, um, brush lock. So in, in other words, no brush is going to work on the layer. So when I drag my mixer brush to this layer and I try to work, couldn't use the mixer brush too because the layer is um, locked. All right, so we're going to um, start editing with the color copy. All right. I'm going to um, select my mixer brush already selected. You can press um, B shortcut for mixer brush. So I have my width um, set to 28. I have my load to 75, my mix to 90, my flow to 100. I don't really know how I came about with these settings, but you can um, use anyone that is comfortable for you. So I'm going to start mixing right now. You can use your bracket, um, left bracket to increase the size and then the to decrease the size quite simple all right so i'm going to start mixing of course you know the drill the the secret about um, using the mixer brush is um try as much as possible to you know uh, mix in a straight line all right don't mix from shadow to highlight it's not really um okay so when you want to mix the highlight um let it be that you're mixing the highlight alone all right so i'm going to start mixing right now just create a small brush now under tip right Another thing that's going to help you, I think it's better you turn off your your texture layer, all right? So you can see, um, you know, you won't get distracted by the texture and everything. You can just because what you're trying to mix is the color, all right? You're trying you're trying to blend the color to make it um, uniform. All right, so let's let's get started. And we might zoom in a bit. All right, so we start mixing. You see how it goes just gently you don't want to do too much now if your mixing is too much you can reduce the wet to maybe 11 i think 11 is fine all right so you can start um, mixing so I, I reduce my mixer brush from 11 to from 28 to 11 I think I'm going to take it up to 15. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to speed up the process. Like you know, just, um, you know, mix the highlights and then the shadow separately. So um, let me um, speed up so I can be fast. All right.
right so um welcome back so um i think i'm done and then um so um i'm just trying to take care of the nose right here so like i said this is a baby so um even though we don't want to do too much um it's nice you you know give it that look so um we have um this um like the highlights at the forehead there we can just try and you know ease things out, out a little bit there all right so we can um turn on the texture layer and then you see with the like the, the face is is way way better than is way way better than it was before now with a little bit of texture so um let's look at it before I'm going to merge these um, layers right here. So let's look at the before and then the after. So what we've succeeded in doing with this little kid is that we've tried to make the face a, a, um, a lot more smoother than it was before. Like I said, this is a, a, a key, a, a baby. So you don't have to, you know, do it. so we have the before and then the after. So I think it's nice. And um, the basic settings that I use here was you know the mixer brush and then the um you know the way you uh, mix your colors and everything and one thing i did here is to duplicate your color layer so i'm not working on this layer just in case you want to do away with this and start all over again there you go so i'm going to press ctrl j let me do it that i'm going to press ctrl j or i'm going to duplicate it by dragging to all right I'm going to turn this up so I have a fresh layer to start afresh with it's just so simple and wonderful so thank you guys for watching this video but before then I'm going to bring back uh, my edited layer yeah all right all right there you go so I have this layer so thank you so much guys for watching um, this video if you like this video make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and then um, Give me a thumbs up, alright? Give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much guys for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.